Untitled Goose Game wins Game of the Year at the DICE Awards. Activision pulled their games because of a misunderstanding with GeForce Now and more. I'm Andrew Dornan and this is my show, What's New? So, uh, today's kind of a weird day. It's very cloudy outside, but it's not as dark as the other days when it's been super cloudy, so I just kind of decided to roll with it. On top of that, uh, I forgot to order the lights last Wednesday, so I have no lights. So we're just going to have to stick with the ceiling fan until I remember to buy a lighting kit. Because, oh boy, um, lighting is not on my side with this whole mess of weather. It's also really humid outside. It's gross. But with that, all of, all of my usual pre-roll rambling out of the way well i guess it's not pre-roll because we're rolling and also the title card just rolled but whatever let's just get into the news so our first story of today is that the untitled goose game won game of the year at the 2020 dice awards the devs thought it was impossible in fact you can see their their tweet right here that they basically thought it was completely surreal that their game won game of the year, especially considering that they were going up against the likes of Death Stranding and Control, and I gotta say, I'm pretty happy that they won game of the year, because historically with the DICE Awards, it's always been some AAA publisher that's won uh, the game of the year, going all the way back to like the first game show where, go where Goldeneye... <laughs> GoldenEye 007 is a game apparently so cursed I can't say it, um, but GoldenEye 007 for the Nintendo 64 won the very first DICE award for Game of the Year, and then ever since then it's been AAA publishers winning the title, so to see an indie game be so prominent that it wins a DICE award for Game of the Year is truly amazing. I personally am really excited. I don't have a Switch, so I haven't played Untitled Goose Game, but I've seen a lot of footage of it, and every time I see footage of Untitled Goose Game, I just smile because it's, it's such a wonderful game. But, um, but yeah, it's really exciting to see a really big hit indie game win the game of the year at the DICE Awards. And who knows, maybe more indie games will rise up and secure that DICE Award for game of the year for the next few years, because that'd be really cool. All right, so on to our second story, which if you remember, I believe it was last Friday when we covered this, a bunch of Activision Blizzard games just disappeared off of GeForce Now. Nobody really knew why. There was like possibly some talk because of an exclusivity deal that Activision might have signed with Google regarding Google Stadia. But actually, uh, apparently it was just a big misunderstanding. Great, more of those. But uh, more specifically, this was a misunderstanding regarding whether or not Activision Blizzard could charge full price for their games on GeForce Now. Um, they basically there was this huge, like, weird miscommunication about whether or not GeForce Now allows you to. Uh, purchase the games or if it's just a streaming service where you can stream games that you've already purchased in the past on like steam or whatever so there's like these like non-commercial agreements that they're trying to have publishers sign and apparently activision didn't really read it all so they were like oh yeah and then they were like hey why aren't we getting our money and geforce now is like well you signed a non-commercially uh what was the exact term a non-commercial agreement and Activision was like well fine we'll just take all 20 of our games and leave your service which like come on guys you're making me sad but also this is like a triple-a publisher from America that we're talking about who really likes that money um, honestly Part of me is a little surprised that it was Activision Blizzard doing it, but also I feel like I shouldn't be surprised, but if it was EA that had done it, I would have just been like, ah, it's EA. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, Activision Blizzard isn't the only, like, 
group that has had their uh, games removed. You've had, um, or GeForce Now has had to remove games from uh, Rockstar, Square Enix, and Capcom, all because of like the same reason. And it's just because publishers don't like that non-commercial agreement because a lot of publishers really want every single penny that the consumer has, which is not like a, oh, big AAA publishers, they're all evil, Rah! It's not that. Uh, it's more so that there's a lot of AAA publishers that are really greedy, and the games that NVIDIA wants on their GeForce Now service are all games owned by greedy AAA publishers. Great. So, you know, it's it's been a bit of a struggle to get more publishers on board. Uh, in fact, there uh, was a statement that was released regarding this. Uh, it came all the way from Bloomberg, which The Verge reported on and then Polygon reported on. So I have links to all three of those articles in the show notes. Uh, Activision Blizzard has become a fantastic partner during the GeForce Now beta, which we took to include the free trial period for our founders' memberships of recognizing the uh, misunderstanding. We remove their games from our service with uh, hope we can work with them to re-enable these and more in the future. So yeah, it seems like it was a big misunderstanding between GeForce Now being like, you get what you get, and Activision being like, well, I'll be damned. I don't want that. I'm on more money. And then they leave. Uh, that's that's how I picture Activision sounding like, even though they're probably all in California. So they probably don't sound like that. But, you know, whatever. This is just a very interesting situation, to say the least. All right, last bit of gaming news is that Laura Croft is coming to Rainbow Six Siege. Okay, that was that was a bit clickbaity, but also it wasn't in the title, or I don't think it, it will be in the thumbnail, so it's not really clickbaity, but it's listen baby to get you to keep listening, and you probably already left. Well, let me explain. So, Laura Croft is coming to Rain uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege with a big ol' asterisk, and that it's not the character itself, but a skin based off of the original Lara Croft from the original Tomb Raider back in the, the PlayStation 1 era. Uh, specifically, this will be an elite tier skin, so it'll require the highest form of in-game currency that you can get in Rainbow Six Siege, and it will be only for Operator Ash. Now, I personally haven't played Rainbow Six Siege, so I take Ubisoft at their words, saying that uh, Operator, Operator Ash best fits the general physique of Laura Croft and so that's why they gave her the outfit I mean I'll buy it <laughs> I haven't played Rainbow Six Siege I don't know all the operators so I'll just take them at their word um, another thing about the, like the release of the skin it will be happening it will be a part of let's say that uh, be a part of the next season which is Operation Void Edge which is like season one of year five it's been out for five years holy crap that's crazy. Um, but yeah, so it'll be a part of Operation Void Edge. Uh, the outfit does include Lara Croft's famous dual-wielding pistols, but they won't be functional in-game. It's possible that they could just be a victory pose, or they were just shown off for the sake of the trailer, and they're just purely cos cosmetic. They don't come out of their holsters at all, which it makes sense. You'd probably have some game balancing issues if your operator has two dual wield pistols for an elite skin, uh, elite tier skin. So it's interesting. Um, I'm excited to see what the reaction is to the skin being included into Rainbow Six Siege and also if there is like added functionality with the dual wielding pistols or even if it's just a victory pose. That'd be cool if it was a victory pose. Um, but yeah, that's all I got to say on that specific topic. All right, some quickie website channel news just because my camera is dying because I forgot to put it on the charger over this weekend. Uh, so the navigation bar is officially uh, finished. You'll see at the bottom of the screen now. This is a design that I'm actually happy with. It took me ever since the website was started to try and figure out a navigation toolbar that I really liked. And it took a lot of revisions, but we're finally here where you have home, let's plays, and then it goes off to like Flare let's plays and YouTube let's plays. And then you have 
the other videos or like it's called more videos and that's where you find gaming and creating or not my bad you find this show and mini pack and then under written content is where you find gaming and creating and all of the news and update stuff and then everything else is pretty much the same uh some light editing was done on the about me page and then on the support the content page I added a couple of graphics the patreon coffee logos and then at the very bottom of the page you'll find the funding goals which are on screen now uh, if i'm an editor with my soul i probably timed that perfectly and so you should be seeing all the the tears on like a starry background that's like woo. uh but yeah so we have the one dollar the ten dollar the thirty dollar the hundred dollar and the seven hundred dollar uh tiers so that's everything that's up there and uh, the biggest thing that I'm uh, looking for is just the first three tiers because then that means that, you know, at the, the very most, I'd be happy if we, like, within, like, a few years get to the $30 a month tier because that means we can move on to phase four and five of the the big website revision plan but that is going to be it for today thank you guys so much for watching if you want to know more about the show and you what's new i will have a link to the main show page in the show notes uh and then if you want to know uh more ways to support me and my content i will have links to the support the content page down in the show notes below if you're viewing this on the website or above if you're viewing on facebook thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys on wednesday for another episode of angel dordan's what's new bye bye